on Sailing Catalpa. We have some good friends come and stay with us at Great Keppel Island and have some sad goodbyes. Okay, so one thing Catalpa's missing is a bait board. Um, I was going to wait till we're in town, buy one, buy some ply. Everyone seems to have a little plywood one. But when we were on Great Keppel the other night, we were walking back from State of Origin and we stumbled across this washed up on the beach. Which I think is the remains of a uh, floor out of an inflatable maybe. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to mount this up here. It's a segmented floor, it's a little bit too wide, so I might just take one of these segments out. I'm just going to go two U-bolts through there, and I had a little bit of this left over from where I fixed the jerry cans, and it was originally a TV aerial. I think I'll be able to mount that onto the rail. I'm going to fold that over, put a hole through that, and that'll be our support for the back here. And then hopefully I'll have a fishing table before we hit the Swains Reef, which is going to be one of the fishing hotspots on the east coast of Australia. And just a little bit of preparation, like a cutting board. I just happened to stumble across at the right time. See how we go. So marked out here. This is going to be my U-bolts. I have here. So you're going to go around my rail and come up through there. The washer on top, a couple of bolts. Just notice there's a lot of sand in here, so I'm probably going to pull it all apart in a second and clean it out. That's probably why it's so heavy, because we did find it washed up on the beach. Put that there. Okay. U-bolts through here. I'm going to trim them all faster. So they're just straight on top of my rail. It's a little bit big and donkey, but so practical with the fish we catch. So yeah, once I get these done up, I will and just need to put a support at the back underneath. As I showed earlier. I've actually got this which is going to go under the rail bit of aluminium it just hasn't really got much strength to it as we can see but had a little bit of leftover stainless from doing our davits so I'm gonna now in there I'm gonna remove that and I'm gonna have that on the outside and maybe just brace it under there cut it down to length and be like a strut on a 45 I get my angle right should be happy days and that'll be my stay for underneath in the tender and have a play with that. Get that to length, screw that on and we've got a bait board. There we have it. This is our great Keppel cutting board. You've I done a great on, job, eh? I found that on great Keppel and uh, it just seemed a shame to waste it. It's a nice little aluminium. I should be able to fill it along here quite nicely. I just put a couple of U-bolts under the rails and as I showed before, that back brace and uh, I may at some stage put like a little knife pouch here. It's nice and long, I get those big Spaniards and big tuna. Perfect. Big red emperor. And we can put all our dishes for the barbecue on there. Oh, can even, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you so good, it. you're so clever. It's the well job done. for the day. Go, to save the day. Well, I just found a life jacket floating out there. Half his floor, which we salvaged, and a fuel tank, so he was pretty grateful. Yeah. His line snapped on the way out, so he dragged his tender backwards. I didn't know. Did he know? No. Oh. So, he's happy. He's got his, most of his bits back, I think. He did a good deed for the day, baby. You're a lovely man. So, we left your poon about lunchtime, and we're heading back over to North Keppel Island. That's Great Keppel Island where we were. There's Pumpkin Island, I think, in the middle. And then that's North Keppel Island. So North Keppel Island is the second largest island in the Keppel group of islands. Got any other facts, Beth? <laughs> well, not 
really. Uh, the anchorage is not too bad, as long as we don't have too much wind with sunny light. There's no swell. Have a good night's sleep and uh, if we get up early enough, we'll uh, go for Island Head Creek. Which I haven't had a look, I think it's about 50 nautical miles. No, it's about 67. 60, okay. <laughs> We haven't got wind until about lunchtime, so we'll just see if we get a... See how we go. We'll we get go. up early. Up. And then the next day, we're going to head to the Percy's. Yeah. So that's exciting. Kids. We're looking forward to that. Had a very nice slow sail over today. Not much wind today. We couldn't leave this morning because there was absolutely no wind. Three knots. Uh, just, there's not much wind. We went into town and posted... Um, Taji's picture that he drew that Ed won, one of our patrons, so it's on its way Ed. You probably will receive it before this video comes out actually. <laughs> I think we're a few weeks behind. Heading over to North Keppel Island. Look how cool this starfish is. Some interesting facts about the starfish. Also known as sea stars. See these little things? It's called their tube feet. Sea stars move using these tube feet. Tube feet are filled with seawater. So we're just leaving North Keppel. It's about 6.30. And depending on the wind, we'll see how far we get today. It's up. So we've seen our first whale for the season. We haven't seen one yet. So we're going along nicely now. We just turned off the engine. We had a bit of a moment where, well, there's no wind. There was wind the wrong way, so directly behind us. It was very light. And there was swell direction and current. And we, we weren't moving. At all. We were like in, caught in some kind of little sailing trap. Someone was laughing at us anyway. But um, <laughs> Lee wasn't very happy about it. <laughs> but we're moving along now so he's happy. <laughs> These moments when you're sailing, there's just a few little frustrations and because uh, it's kind of out of your control. Kind of sailing with the trade wind so that means there can be a lot of wind straight behind us and we don't really have the setup for it. We don't have a spinnaker. But um the wind seems to be more beam on. We're moving along nicely. So that's good because that makes for a a happier captain. Oh there he is. <laughs> you happy now? Yeah? Are you sure? You look happier. Oh look at that cute face. He gets very frustrated. <laughs> it's the nature of the beast, my love. Here we go, guys. We're on. Woo! Woo! Pull it in, baby. The big one. You can do this without depowering. Just, you can. Uh, we can. You can. You got this. Uh oh. Now uh, we're gonna have to pull that head sail in, I think. Uh, we're not. We're not going to, <laughs> so you better figure it out. The crew so. says no. Well, I'm going to just see if we'll start to calm. It's not ideal. No one wants to drop the sails today. <laughs> We're doing six knots. Now have to drop a bit of head sail. Can we, um... We can drop the head sail. Okay, that should take a lot of the... It just slides down. up. Just got the main out. It's a funny fish, it doesn't have a real kick to it. Like a marlin. Woo! A marlin? Oh, look, look at the marlin! <laughs> wow. We can't eat that. Well, wow, can you hold that? We don't want to hurt this fish. No, oh, we'll have to let so him go. Just hold it. Your first marlin, is it? Yeah. Woo! I don't say it's going to break any 
records, but geez, it's got some beautiful <laughs> colours. Isn't it gorgeous? It. Better get this in and Yeah, yeah we gotta let him go. Lee was pretty stoked with his catch on his first marlin, but as we said, he was too beautiful and we had to let him go. So after getting the lure out as quickly as we could and a quick photo, we got him back in the water so he could swim on. I'm here. So we've just come between the mainland, or is that an island? It's the mainland and an island. We're in Port Clinton. Port Clinton. And the water is racing. Oh, and we've just been shielded from the wind. As soon the wind as just sails fill again, we might be right. You got no wind, and there's some current between here. Fifteen knots. And we're, we're going along real nice, honey. Yeah, we're going like six, there, seven yeah. knots. But it's a bit pretty. The water's lovely. Following those catamarans, you were. Yeah. Bloody cats! <laughs> been racing them the whole way up here. They're actually not going that much faster than us. We were really surprised. <laughs> so just coming into Pearl Bay. We didn't quite make it to Island Head Creek. So we're pulling in, it's about two or three o'clock in the afternoon. We've actually been in here before. It was about two years ago when we brought Catalpa home from Maggie Island. We stopped in here and we had a beautiful night. It was so still, the stars were out. So we left the whole boat open and went to bed. And we woke up to the most- we can get up to the left of those cats. Horrendous storm we'd ever seen. So we learned our lesson. Anyway, close the boat. Don't leave it all open. Probably be a right to the right of them as well. You are a real pirate, hey? <laughs> I didn't think girls drunk Arr. rum. <laughs> That's a knife. So we're just leaving Pearl Bay. And when we were at Lady Musgrave, we met a couple up a catamaran and they said that they made a smiley face on the side of the rocks at Pearl Bay. And it's still there. Are we going to try for the Percy Islands today? We'll see how we go. There's a, so it's about 50 nautical miles today, I think. Yeah. So another big day. We had a long day yesterday. Another big day today. What have you got there, Bells? That looks pretty good. I've got... Mm. It has coconut herrings in it. Usually blueberries and blended up fruit. What I'm using for a bowl is our coconuts we got open yesterday. Yeah. 20 nautical miles to the Percy's. Did you want me to take the autopilot off so you can steer for a bit? Like, it looks like you're steering if you put your hand on it. Like, you look, <laughs> that's better. <laughs> So there we go. <laughs> For Sarah, we haven't actually told you guys, but she's actually quite a good singer. Part of the day is actually busting out a few numbers and... Uh, I don't know what she's got in mind, but... So. You want me to sing? Too busy eating coconut, otherwise she would. I would, but I'll save it for something special. Maybe if I put a little bit of Malibu in that coconut, it might bring out the good turns. And we arrived. We pulled into West Bay on Middle Percy Island. So join us next time on Sailing Catalpa as we explore the Percy Islands.
that was episode 37. Thanks for watching. So people have been asking, can you donate without being a patron? Well, the answer is yes. We've set up a PayPal account. The information is down below. And just a big thank you for all our patrons that have been supporting us the whole way. One other thing, don't forget to put a thumbs up or subscribe down below. Yeah, to say.